We live in a digital age. Computers are everywhere, from our homes to our workplaces and even in our pockets these machines have become an integral part of our daily lives. They solve complex problems, process vast amounts of information, and connect us across continents. The power of computation has revolutionized industries from healthcare to finance and has transformed the way we communicate and share information. It's easy to believe they are limitless. The rapid advancements in technology often give the impression that there are no boundaries to what computers can achieve. But even these powerful machines have boundaries. They are not infallible and can encounter errors and failures. Like a car can't run without fuel, computers can't function without physical resources. They require a constant supply of electricity and well-maintained hardware to keep running. They need electricity to operate, space to store data, and materials to build their components. These resources are finite. The infrastructure supporting our digital world is vast but not limitless. This means there are limits to what even the most advanced computer can do. Computational power is bound by the physical and environmental constraints of our world. Understanding these limitations is crucial. It helps us set realistic expectations and drives us to innovate within these boundaries. It allows us to appreciate the incredible achievements of computer science while acknowledging the challenges that lie ahead. Recognizing these challenges is the first step towards overcoming them. It reminds us that innovation thrives on pushing boundaries, not ignoring them. By understanding and respecting the limits of our technology, we can continue to push the envelope and achieve even greater heights. At the heart of every computer is a processor, its brain. This tiny yet powerful component is responsible for executing instructions and performing calculations that drive all the operations of a computer. Processors are marvels of miniaturization, containing billions of transistors on a tiny chip. These transistors are the building blocks of modern computing, enabling complex computations and tasks. These transistors act like switches, turning electrical signals on and off to perform calculations. The rapid switching of these transistors is what allows computers to process information at incredible speeds. The faster these transistors switch, the faster the computer. However, this speed comes with its own set of challenges. But there's a catch speed generates heat. As the transistors switch faster they consume more power and generate more heat. As processors get smaller and faster they produce more heat in a smaller space. This heat needs to be managed effectively to prevent damage. This heat can damage the chip and limit its performance. Overheating can lead to reduced efficiency and even permanent damage to the processor. Storage is another physical limitation. As we continue to create and store more data, the demand for storage capacity increases. Computers store information as bits, represented by zeros and ones. These bits are the fundamental units of data in computing. These bits are physically stored in hard drives or memory chips. The capacity of these storage devices determines how much data can be stored. As we generate more data, we need more physical space to store it. This is a growing challenge for both data centers and personal devices. This poses a challenge for data centers and even our personal devices. Managing and expanding storage capacity is crucial to keep up with the ever-increasing amount of data we produce. Beyond physical constraints, some problems are fundamentally unsolvable by computers. One famous example is the halting problem. This problem asks whether a computer program will eventually halt, or stop, or run forever. Mathematicians have proven that no single algorithm can solve the halting problem for all possible programs. This means there will always be programs where we can't predict their behavior with certainty. This has profound implications. It means that software debugging, the process of finding and fixing errors in code, can never be fully automated. It also highlights the limits of formal systems and the existence of problems that require human intuition and creativity to solve. For decades, computer power has grown exponentially. This growth is often described by Moore's Law, which states that the number of transistors on a chip doubles roughly every two years. This has led to smaller, faster, and more affordable computers. However, Moore's law is reaching its limits. Transistors are approaching the size of atoms. At these scales, quantum effects start to interfere with their operation, making further miniaturization incredibly difficult. This doesn't mean progress will stop. Researchers are exploring new materials, architectures, and computing paradigms to overcome these challenges. But it does mean that the era of easy exponential growth in computing power may be coming to an end. 
as computers become more powerful they consume more energy. This energy consumption has significant environmental and economic impacts. Data centers, which house vast numbers of servers, are major consumers of electricity. The energy required to train large language models, a type of artificial intelligence, has skyrocketed in recent years. Some estimates suggest that training a single large language model can consume as much electricity as a small town. This raises important questions about the sustainability of our digital infrastructure. Researchers are exploring more energy-efficient hardware and algorithms, but reducing the energy footprint of computing remains a significant challenge. Artificial intelligence has made remarkable progress. AI systems can now recognize faces, translate languages, and even generate creative text. However, current AI systems are limited in their ability to replicate human intelligence fully. One key difference is consciousness. We don't fully understand how consciousness arises in the human brain, and we're far from replicating it in machines. AI systems can process information and learn patterns, but they don't experience the world or possess subjective experiences like emotions or self-awareness. Furthermore, AI systems often struggle with common sense reasoning, adaptability to new situations, and ethical decision-making. These limitations highlight the unique capabilities of the human mind and the ongoing challenges in developing truly intelligent machines. Quantum computing is an emerging field that harnesses the principles of quantum mechanics to perform computations. Unlike classical computers that use bits, quantum computers use qubits, which can exist in multiple states simultaneously. This allows quantum computers to solve certain types of problems exponentially faster than classical computers. These problems have applications in cryptography, drug discovery, and material science. However, building and operating quantum computers is incredibly challenging. Qubits are extremely fragile and susceptible to environmental noise. Quantum computers are still in their early stages of development and face significant technical hurdles before they become widely applicable. The limitations of computers are not a cause for despair but an invitation to innovate. These limitations challenge us to think outside the box and push the boundaries of what we believe is possible. Just as the limitations of human strength led to the invention of tools and machines, the constraints we face with current technology drive us to create new solutions. The limitations of computers will continue to drive technological advancements, leading to innovations we can only dream of today. By understanding these limitations, we can focus our efforts on developing new materials, architectures, and algorithms that push the boundaries of what's possible. This understanding is crucial for the next wave of breakthroughs. We are constantly evolving our designs and approaches, creating algorithms that can handle more complex tasks and solve more intricate problems. We can explore alternative computing paradigms, such as biological computing which uses the principles of biology to process information in new and exciting ways, or neuromorphic computing, inspired by the human brain, which aims to mimic the neural structures and processes of our own minds to create more efficient and powerful computing systems. The future of computing is not about building machines that can do everything, but about building machines that can do things differently, in ways that complement and enhance human abilities. It's about creating innovative designs and unique applications that can tackle specific challenges and open up new possibilities, augmenting human capabilities and helping us solve some of the world's most pressing problems from healthcare to environmental sustainability. The journey of discovery is just beginning, and the future holds endless possibilities for those willing to explore and innovate.